SSD versus HDD. Which one is better? Well, that is the question we are trying to answer with this video. For starters, HDD refers to hard disk drive, which is a traditional computer storage device that uses magnetic storage technology. Whereas SSD, which expands to solid state drive, uses semiconductor storage technology. So a HDD has spinning disks in it made up of ferromagnetic materials. And these disks are technically called platters. So the platter is the place where the data is actually stored inside a HDD. And in order to read or write data onto the platter, a head connected to an arm that floats above the platter is used. It is just similar to the structure of a turntable record player. Depending upon the capacity, there are multiple platters inside a hard disk drive. And each platter has several tracks in it, which are nothing but the concentric circles found on the surface of the platters. And also there are pie-shaped divisions called sectors which further subdivides into thousands of subdivisions with each subdivision capable of accepting a magnetic charge. So you know how a computer stores data, right? Using a long sequence of ones and zeros, nothing but in binary format. So you cannot actually store data in binary format inside a HDD. So it should be converted to a magnetic charge with different polarities corresponding to the ones and zeros in the binary sequence of the corresponding file. In writing mode, that is to store data in the drive, an electric current travels through the head and modifies the magnetic polarities of each subdivision in the platter corresponding to the binary sequence with different polarities. And for reading mode, this process is just completely reversed. The magnetic field in the surface of the platter transmits an electric current to the head and this electric signal is passed onto the computer and it is translated to binary format and the computer interprets and manipulates it and shows it to the user in a format that he or she can understand. In order to read or write data in the platter, the platter has to spin so that the head points to the correct sector and the arm has to move so that the head points to the correct track so that the file is read or written in the correct location in the drive. So this movement is controlled by the disk controller inside the HDD, which is fed by instructions from the operating system. And the speed of rotation of these platters typically ranges from 5400 to 7200 rotations per minute on consumer PCs. Now, speaking about SSDs, they are called solid state because they have no moving parts at all. Instead, they use something called flash memory. For starters, flash memory is an electronic non-volatile memory that can be electrically erased and then reprogrammed. There are two types of flash memories, namely NOR flash and NAND flash memories. Okay, I don't want to delve into an hour of physics lecture explaining you about NOR and NAND flashes because I'm planning to keep this video concise. But hey, in NOR flash, the cells are connected in parallel, whereas in NAND flash, they are connected in series. Due to these types of connections, the NOR flash is more complex when it comes to circuit, but NAND flash is less complex, thus becoming simple, less expensive, and also more reliable. So NAND flash is the most ideal technology available now, not just for SSDs, but also every storage device we use nowadays, like uh, USB flash drives and micro SD cards, and even smartphone internal storage. So SSD contains memory chips made up of semiconductor materials in it, and inside each memory chip, there is a grid of electrical cells which are separated into sections called pages. So each individual bit of a data is stored in these pages. And the pages are then grouped together to form something called a block. And in SSDs, the data is stored directly in electronic form, nothing but in binary format, that's ones and zeros, instead of converting them into magnetic form as we do in HDDs. So this is just the basic working of SSDs and HDDs but there are some huge differences between them based on which we can choose which one of them is better. There is one problem with HDDs. When the HDD is free, large files can be stored onto consecutive subdivisions in the platter so that the head can read the file easily with just one continuous motion. But as soon as the disk starts filling up, the bits of large files are just scattered among the disk due to which the disk suffers from something called fragmentation. Even though various read and write algorithms have been developed to minimize the effect of fragmentation, as the disk gets older, it may still get fragmented due to which the file health and the performance are affected. So in order to avoid this, SSDs can be used. But wait, SSDs have their own disadvantages. SSDs can read or write data quickly in an empty drive, but overwriting data is much slower. Because read or write operations can be done on the page level, but erasing the data can only be done at the block level. So in order to update an existing page in a block, you have to copy the entire content of the block into memory, erase the block, and then copy the updated information into the target page, 
along with copying the old data from the memory into other pages. SSDs aren't affected by vibration and thermal issues because they have no mechanically moving parts, but HDDs are affected by it. And also, SSD uses less power because they stay idle more often, but HDD with all the spinning platters and moving arms requires more power to function. And HDD also makes a bit of a noise when it functions for a long time. The faster the platter spin, the louder is the noise but SSD makes no noise at all as it stays idle. The most interesting difference though is the booting time. So this computer right here in which the motion background is running, it has got a 128 gigs of SSD and a one terabyte HDD. It is a dual drive system and I've installed two operating systems in it, Windows 10 on the SSD and Linux Ubuntu on the HDD. While Windows 10 takes something like seven to 10 seconds to boot, Linux Ubuntu takes more than a minute to boot. If booting on SSD is like the highest record of Hussein Bolt, then booting on HDD is like highest record of mine. Yeah, I'm not a good runner at all. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm pretty sure this is not just because of different operating systems, but because of different storage technologies. SSDs are more efficient when it comes to booting. Even gamers who play games with an enormous number of assets like large maps and detailed textures have to choose SSD for faster game loading experience. And even though SSD has got this many advantages over HDDs, they are still more expensive than the HDDs. So if you think capacity is more important for you, that is, you can get more capacity for cheaper price when you choose HDDs. But if you think factors like speed, noiseless functioning and performance are important, then just you have to go for SSDs. But if you're ready to sacrifice capacity for a good amount of speed, then my advice is instead of getting a one terabyte hard disk drive, just go get a 256 gig solid state drive. Or just do it like me, try to get a dual drive system so that you can have the SSD as the booting drive and for remaining all the large files, you can use the cheaper HDD. But based on all the advantages and disadvantages, the winner of this battle is SSD. So the choice is up to you based on your requirements and budget. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you found this video useful. And most importantly, wear a mask, stay safe and catch you guys next time.